What's up guys, Mayhem Blizz, we're playing Adios today for the full 1000G. It's available for free this month with Games with Gold, so be sure to pick that up before it's gone. So we're going to get straight into it. We want to press the menu button to see our objectives. Uh, each objective can be restarted and selected again when you finish the game if you missed any. So we just want to move the left stick there to get off the bench. And then the first objective will be to feed these piggies. So for this objective, we can obtain the butcher achievement. This is for ensuring the pigs are fed well. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed them all of the food in the back of the van. We can press X to pick up a piece of food and then X again to chuck it into the pen. Uh -huh. okay. Do you wanna... So now we've tracked the last bit of food to the piggies, we need to wait for them to eat it and wait for the achievement to pop. It does take a while, um, as like I said, we've got to wait for the pigs to eat all of the food first and then the achievement will pop up. Uh, so make sure we're not pushing and answering any dialogue options until that achievement pops. Here we go. So now the uh, achievement's popped, we can mash through all of the dialogue options by pressing up on the D-pad as well as hitting left bumper at the same time. So there's no achievement for selecting uh, certain dialogue options, so that's why we're mashing through and skipping all of it. Likewise, absolutely nothing to do in this scene. All we need to do is skip all of the dialogue options. So up on the D-pad, as well as hitting a left bumper at the same time, just mash those buttons as quickly as possible um, so we can get over this scene and onto the next. Cool, I feel like I'm doing a speed run here. Right, so we want to head over to the closest objective. That's going to be this shack over here. We won't be able to enter it straight away. Uh, so we want to push X on it. Donnie's going to walk over to us and we need to spam through the dialogue to allow us to enter the shack. Once we've entered the shack, we need to push up on the D-pad to put the light on. And we've got two achievements here. We can get bottoms up and a man of taste. So we need to select root bear from the vending machine with the X button. Now to get this directly into his hand, uh, what we need to do is walk up to him until we can't walk any further, aim at his forearm and then press X and that will chuck it uh, directly into his hand. That will get you the bottoms up achievement. What we want to do is uh, restart the scene uh, and then we're going to do the same, enter the shack, turn the light on. Uh, we're going to select the slam cola this time. Uh, again, we're going to pick it up with the X button, walk up to him uh, until we can't any further, aim at his forearm and press X to launch it into his hand. That's both of those achievements. We are on to the next scene. So now that's done, we want to head over to the closest objective. It's going to be the horseshoes objective. Uh, so there's an achievement here called Sniper, and that's for winning this game. Uh, so what you want to do is press X to pick up a horseshoe, and then you can hold X to aim it, and releasing X will throw it. Um, I would just keep an eye on the points at the top of your screen there. Just make sure that once you've finished throwing all of your horseshoes, that um, you will end up winning this game. If you if you feel like he's catching up with you and he is going to beat you, you can just restart the scene. Uh, but other than that, um, your aim doesn't even actually need to be that um, good. Um, as you can see here, you can try and aim at the same place that I'm aiming if you would like. Otherwise, you can just play this game how you would like to and try and beat um, my score if you like. Uh, put it down in the comments section, what you scored on it, um, and humiliate me. <laughs> Light like a halo around her head, and I knew I wasn't alone anymore. Hmm. So you came back to your high school sweetheart? Yeah. I, I thought I, I thought he'd have married her by then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. <laughs> Why not? You're a handsome guy. I bet all sorts wanted you, especially back then. Women love a man in uniform. Can you see that house on the hill? Uh, what, the burned out one? I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, right. A house. W wait. That house? The very same. Looks like it was a... Uh, 
don't know. So now we want to head over to the horse. We need to pet him and feed him an apple for that objective. Don't you own a tractor? Uh, uh, on a tractor? <laughs> Suit yourself. So then after that, a little sprint over here, uh, we want to get the right on target achievement. This is going to be the goat objective. So we want to milk the goat and it will give us an opportunity to shoot our friend in the face with some milk. Milk. So yeah, we're here. We want to spam through all of the dialogue. Uh, quite a bit of dialogue here. So remember up on the D-pad, left bumper at the same time, whammy through those. Uh, and then the goats will stroll on in. We'll get our hands on their udders. And then uh, instead of spamming the shoot button, um, I had a little trouble with this one because I was spamming shoot. Uh, what you want to do is um, shoot twice uh, so it hits them in the first. And then uh, leave it for a little bit and then shoot him a couple more times again. Um, making sure you're on target and that achievement should pop. Again, if it doesn't pop, you can always do restart the scene um, or just wait until you've completed the game and then come back to the scene later on. Oh, and just to add its right trigger to shoot. <laughs> oh, gun down. Life over just like that. Well, so your achievement would have popped there. If not, you can restart the scene like I said. Um, you won't see my achievement pop on screen as I had to go back uh, after completing the game. So straight in front of us is the shovel objective. For this objective, we can gain three achievements. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to pick up this shovel with the X button. We want to pick up some dung with the shovel with the right trigger. And then right trigger again to put that dung in the wheelbarrow. So the first achievement we're going to get is the hard worker achievement, and that's for shoveling more dung than our friend. So just go ham here and fill up the wheelbarrow as much as you can, and you'll gain that achievement, no issue. Yeah, guess I did. So help. Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in. Oh yeah? Vietnam. Yeah. You know... I did some digging on you. So now the wheelbarrow is full, we can press X to chuck our spade away and push the wheelbarrow and obtaining that hard worker achievement. Once that's popped, we can restart the scene so we can obtain the other two achievements. So the next achievement we're going to go for is the lazy bones achievement and that is for shoveling less dung than your friend. Uh, your friend uh, shovels in five dung, so you just need to make sure that you do less than that. Um, you can just do none at all and don't even pick up the shovel and allow him to fill up the wheelbarrow uh, entirely. Or if you want to speed it up a little bit, you can shovel in four uh, just so it speeds up the process. And that's what you see me doing here. So now matey boy's finished filling up the wheelbarrow, we can press right trigger to push it and a little delay on this one popping up, but as soon as it does, we can restart the scene for the last achievement in this objective. So the last one is called Fair's Fair, and this one is for shoveling as much as our friend does. So like I said before, he shovels in five dung, we just want to do the same uh, and let that achievement pop and we don't need to restart the scene, we can just complete it. So there we go, the Fair's Fair achievement. All we need to do now is hold up on the left stick and it will automatically uh, direct the wheelbarrow into the location we need to go. So don't worry about uh, remembering where I'm taking this wheelbarrow as yeah, it does it automatically when you hold up on the left stick. Mm -hmm. And now 
now you're here. Great big war hero. Shuffling ships. Yeah. So here we are at the tree objective. All we want to do is spam through the dialogue up on the D-pad left bumper at the same time. And that is this objective complete. Hey, Saul. Uh, he's telling us about his American chestnut tree. Please. So now we're automatically taken to the way objective here. We can get the mechanic achievement. Um, so what we want to do is we go over to this door because we need to pop the hood and we can only do that if we select the door. So here we go, as soon as it says pop the hood, uh, press X on the door and now we need to attach the light. So grab the light with the X button and then place it on top of the hood here. Um, the next thing we need to do is just start the car. So make your way around to the door. Uh, as soon as it says uh, to start the engine, we can press X on the door and that will um, get us the achievement and end the scene. So now at this shotgun objective, we can gain two achievements. We want to walk up to our friend and attempt to shoot him in the face. It doesn't have to be the face and you'll get the nice try achievement. Only pull the trigger once there uh, to get that achievement. And then we don't want to pull the uh, trigger at all. And that will get us the ace in the hole achievement for having a perfect aim. So we're kind of tricking the game uh, into thinking that we've got perfect aim by not shooting at all. And then in this goodbye, uh, section all we want to do is spam through the dialogue up on the d-pad left bumper and we'll get through all of the dialogue and get to the be seeing you achievement So now we're spawned into the house, we can get the Piano Man achievement. That's for walking into the living room here and pressing X on the piano. So now we want to head into the kitchen. We can obtain two achievements here. We want to press and interact with the telephone with the X button, and then we want to interact with the sticky note labeled Bill. So turn your volume up because we need to make sure we can hear Bill on the other end of the line. As soon as he speaks to us, we need to interact with the telephone again to hang up on him and get the cut call achievement. And uh, once you've got that achievement, we can pick up the telephone again, interact with the same sticky note as Bill, um, and that will also get us the nothing left to say achievement because the line is busy. So the last thing we need to do with the telephone is pick it back up and interact with the Edith sticky note. Um, she does yap on a bit, so make sure to skip through that dialogue and then we can move on. So be sure to put the telephone down before trying to head upstairs uh, and then we're on to the next lot of achievements. So we want to head up the stairs and it's going to be the first room on the right. We can press X or right trigger to open the door and what we want to do is we want to listen to all of the tapes and all of the vinyls in this room fully. So grab this tape sitting on the deck and insert that. So you press X to pick up a tape, right trigger to enter it into the deck, and the same for the vinyls. You press X to pick up a vinyl, and right trigger to put it on the turntable. So listen now for the noise of the tape being dispensed of the deck, and then you want to just pick up a new one and put that in. Um, again, with the vinyls, you want to just have a look at the turntable, make sure the vinyl has stopped spinning, and then you can pick it up with the X button and then replace it uh, with another vinyl. So you should have heard that noise of the tape being dispensed from the deck so we can just pick up the red tape just below the deck as well and insert that one um, and we 
got to the Magnetic Miracles achievement for dabbling and listening to that first tape. And we also got the vinyl vibes for dabbling and listening to that vinyl. So we can replace that vinyl with the one right next to the turntable as well. So I've just fast forwarded here. You saw that tape be dispensed from the deck. So I'm just fetching the tape, um, which is on the box on the left of the deck and inserted that one. Now I'm just focusing on the turntable, waiting for that vinyl to stop spinning. Uh, so you can see it currently spinning. Oh, there it's just stopped. So we can pick that up now with the X button, throw that on the floor with the other one, and pick up the vinyl which is located at the end of the bed and place that on there. So this vinyl was a little bit more difficult to determine if it was still spinning or not. Um, so I just focused my eyes on the outer of the vinyl rather than the color of the label. So obviously we heard the tape get dispensed from the deck. So I've grabbed the tape from the bedside table and inserted that one. Come back to the turntable to make sure if that's still turning, uh, which it's just stopped then. So I've thrown that one on the floor with the others and grabbed this vinyl, which is sitting on top of the shelf next to the speaker. So there is the audio file achievement for listening to the last vinyl in the room. So be sure to go over to the turntable, grab the vinyl and give it a yoot. <laughs> you don't have to do that. So now we just need to listen to the last tape in the deck and that will get us the tape head achievement as well. So now we've done that, we can head out the door, down the stairs, and we want to head out the back door and head over to the horse for part two. So he's taking his sweet ass time, so uh, you can try and pick up apples and eat them over the fence, but that doesn't work. You gotta wait until he's walked all the way to the fence and then we can give him an apple. Granny Smith. Just like you like. Good boy. So after finally feeding the horse, we want to not jump over the fence. I don't know why it didn't let me do it that time. Uh, we want to head to the basement, so we want to go through this door here, or the cellar, should I say. And we want to interact with the rod on this weapon board, press the X button, and that will take us to the next scene. So in this scene, we are going for the Master Commander achievement. We want to head over here, press the right trigger once to cast out our line. And then as soon as you see some little splashes in the water, we then want to hold right trigger. We want to make sure that we don't get that line tension progress bar on the right hand side all the way up to the top, but we want to hold it enough that it's going to get close to it and then let go of right trigger uh, before it hits it. And then you want to keep doing that until you've captured the Admiral fish. But luckily, for some reason, I managed to capture the fish uh, first go. Um, I did restart the scene a couple of times, so maybe that was a factor. So once we're back in the house, we need to cook some meals and we've nearly completed the game, guys. So we want to head into the basement and we want to pick up the shotgun on the worktop here. I don't know what a shotgun is, but a shotgun. Head back upstairs, go into the dining room and we need to put this on the table. Sometimes it doesn't go onto the table, which if that bug has occurred for you, you need to back out of the entire game and boot it back up. So. What you want to do is go into the kitchen area, pick up the knife on the kitchen side, and we need to cut up all the ingredients. That's the potatoes, the steak, and all of the vegetables on that top shelf in the fridge. So now we need to grab the two potatoes and put those in the pot. We need to grab the stock on the far left there and put that in the pot. And then we need to grab the hot sauce, which is in the middle, and put that in the pot as well. We then need to put the steak in the pan, which is on the right-hand side of the pot. And then we need to put the onions and all of the carrots into the pot as well. Um, and that is the first ingredients. Once we've done all of that, we need to put the cooked steak in the pot. Remember to do that, otherwise you'll have the wrong dish. Um, once you put the steak in the pot, you need to hit the timer above the pan. And that will um, 
set the scene with the meal in your hand. So make sure that your meal looks like mine. Uh, if it does, place it on the table and hit the X button to sit down at the chair. And this should net you the spicy achievement. So when that achievement's popped, make sure to press start and restart the scene. We have got three mills to create. So we need to go back downstairs, grab the shotgun and put that on the dining room table. So the slight difference with this mill is we're putting peas in the pot um, and not the hot sauce. So place that on the table, hopefully not getting that bug. We're gonna grab the knife and chop up all of our ingredients. You can throw the knife on the floor, pick up the stock and put that in the pot. And then we're gonna grab all the ingredients as well as the peas. So the two potatoes, the steak goes in the pan, the peas goes in the pot, and then the onions and the carrots all go in the pot again. I know I've said this enough times, once the steak's cooked, let's put that in the pot and hit the timer. So then your meal should look like this. We're gonna place that on the table, get in the chair, and we've unlocked the hearty achievement. Again, press start, restarting the scene. And we've got two more dishes to make. So guess what we're doing, guys? We're going downstairs and fetching the shotgun. So go back upstairs, plop that boy on the table. And basically for this meal, we're not using the knife at all. And it's only three ingredients. So we're going to grab the potato, chuck him in the microwave, X to open, right trigger to place and X to close the door. Then we're gonna grab the steak, put that in the pan uncut. And then we're gonna grab the peas, put that in the pot. And then as soon as that steak is browned, there we go. We're gonna pick that up and put that in the pot. I don't think the microwave was even on, so maybe we don't even need them uh, to microwave the potato, but we're gonna pick that chap up, chuck him in the pot and hit the timer. So your meal should look like this. We're gonna place that on the table, sit down and wait for that achievement to pop. So there we go, the meaty achievement unlocked and we're pressing start, hitting restart scene for the last time. So here we go then guys, heading downstairs again for the last time. Picking up the shotgun, going upstairs. God, I'm exhausted. Going into the dining room table, chuck him on there. Now we don't even need to cut anything up. We're gonna go straight in the fridge. In the bag is a burrito. We just chuck him in the microwave and wait for that bad boy to cook. We don't even need a plate. We don't even need a timer. We're just gonna have our sad, pathetic life and this lowly, delicious burrito to accompany us. Plop this chap on the table, sit down, and this time, no skippity doodah, we're gonna get the achievement. Taco Toto for eating the burrito, and we're gonna just let this last scene play out for the end of the game. So there you go guys, adios, friendio, radio, wasn't much of a friendio in the end, was he? Well thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick 1000G, if you could help me get to 2k subs that would be awesome and I'll keep dropping these vids. Take care and I'll uh, see you in the next one.